What is going on my friends? Greg here from Menagerie Studio and today we have a super quick, super simple After Effects tutorial for you where we're gonna try to create some minimalist, clean lower thirds. So let's hop into After Effects right away and see what we can do. All right, here we are in After Effects. And as you can see, we have a nice little template background here of nice, happy, smiling Jason Lavery, owner of Lavery Brewing Company, a nice little local brewery around here in Erie. If you haven't had it, definitely check them out. Great beer. All right, so here's a little look at what we'll be creating. Super clean, super simple. Let's get to it. All right, we're gonna come over here create a new composition. We're just gonna name this lower third tutorial. We'll go 1920 by 1080, 24 frames a second, 10 seconds long, click OK. All right, before I forget, I'm gonna drop in our nice little template background. We're gonna come up here to the text tool. As you can see over here, I'm using Sophia Pro, bold in all caps. I just think this is a nice clean font. So we're gonna come over here and just type out Jason Lavery. Position that a little bit, that looks good. Control D on the keyboard, we're just gonna duplicate this, bring it down, text tool, highlight that. And we're just gonna bring this down to maybe 45. And we're gonna go for the secondary title, just a light font. And we're gonna type out Lavery Brewing Company. Perfect. I'm just gonna position this a little bit here. If you don't have these little ruler tools, uh, you're gonna wanna just come up to view show rulers these help out a lot you can just click and drag to anywhere in the composition i'm just going to use this to get a little bit more precise in here and line up the l which it looks like it pretty much already is and line up the l with the a there i think that looks nice and for the divider in between the two titles we're going to come up here to the pen tool get rid of the fill do a stroke Stroke of about eight is fine, and I wanna keep it white. We're gonna zoom in here a little bit. Click where we wanna start, and if you hold shift on the keyboard whenever you make your next selection, it's gonna make a perfectly straight line as shown. That looks good, right about there. And now for the animation, we're gonna start with this line here. Uh, if you come down here and you wanna rename this, uh, you just click enter on the keyboard. We're gonna just call this divider. Click on the little drop down arrow here, go over to add trim paths. Click on the drop down for trim paths and we're gonna use this end value here to control our animation. So we'll set a keyframe, we'll bring this down to zero and we'll skip ahead a few frames here to about a second, bring this up to 100. If we click and highlight those, hit F9 on the keyboard to easy ease the keyframes, come into the graph editor, highlight the last keyframe and bring it in. This will give us a nice, smooth animation. That looks good to me. Let's come out here. And now for the main title text, we're gonna come back up to this pen tool, get rid of the stroke, click on fill, doesn't really matter what color your fill is. We're just gonna make a box around the main title here. Clicking shift on the keyboard to make that perfectly square. That'll do just fine for us. Just make sure that it's completely covered. Now we're gonna bring that shape layer down to right above the Jason Lavery layer. Come into toggle switches and modes and alpha matte. So now it looks like nothing happened, but if we come to the beginning, we click on P for position, set a keyframe, skip ahead to about a second, set another keyframe, come back to the beginning. As you can see, whenever we move this position, there's a nice little invisible barrier here where it kind of just tucks right in there. So we're gonna wanna go ahead, highlight those, F9 on the keyboard, go into the graph editor, and click and drag. Give a similar animation to our divider. That looks perfect. Now, same thing for the lower title here. 
we're going to create a layer here. Make sure it's completely covered. Perfect. Bring that shape layer right above the Lavery Brewing Company layer. Track mat, alpha, mat. Do the same thing here. Click P for position, keyframe, skip ahead, another keyframe, come back to the beginning and click and drag. And if you hold shift while you're on this position property, it just moves a lot quicker for you. You can just tuck it right back in there nice and quick. Highlight, F9, graph editor, same deal. It's looking great. Now let's say we want to fine tune this a little bit to bring up all of your keyframes that you just created. We're going to click U on the keyboard. And let's say we want Jason's title to come in first. So we're going to leave that at the beginning. Next, I want the divider to come in. So we're just going to grab these keyframes, push them a little bit forward. That looks great right there. And for Lavery Brewing Company, let's do the same, kind of stagger it a little bit. Perfect, and if it helps visually, you can reposition these above. So now, kind of get a better idea of how they're animating in. All right, now let's say we want to reverse this animation at the end. We're gonna go ahead, highlight all of our layers and click on the stopwatch for each. It's gonna create a keyframe. We'll skip ahead, same amount of time. Bring this into the invisibleness. There we go. The divider, we're gonna bring the trim paths value back down to zero. And for the main title, we're gonna do the same as we did for the lower. All right. Highlight these once again, F9 to reset the easy ease, come back into the graph editor, click and highlight all of those, click and drag to do the opposite of how you animated in. Come back. I think that is looking good. Now say you made your composition a little long like I did here, we're just gonna come to the end. Work area end, click, drag while holding shift. Come into that keyframe there, right click, trim comp to work area. Now you got a nice work area, the length of your animation. Perfect. Lastly here, we're just gonna highlight all of these layers. We're gonna come down to toggle switches and modes and just give it some motion blur. Awesome. Okay, one final step here. Let's say you want to apply this to several different people over a larger documentary. We're gonna wanna make sure that we click on all of the layers here that make up this lower third animation, and we're gonna pre-compose this. So, pre-compose, we'll just name this lower third one. Move all attributes to new composition. Perfect, now you see it's all on its own layer here. Now let's say even we wanna move the position of the entire lower third because uh, maybe we just like it down here more. It just looks a little bit better down there, a little less going on. Perfect, the whole thing animates as it once was and you can move it to wherever you like in the composition. Finally, if you wanna use this same animation over the course of an entire documentary for many different people, this is how you do that. We're just gonna come up here to that pre-comp that we just made, control D to create another one, and you can create as many copies of these as you want. And whenever you cl double click to come in to the composition, you'll see that you can make whatever changes you want to the names, the titles, and it'll keep that same animation that you've already created. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, I feel like I might've rushed through this quite a bit. Uh, if I did, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love your feedback. I feel like a lot of people just wanna get into these tutorials, get the techniques, and get out and apply that to their own work as quickly as possible. So I try to keep it concise, but if you'd like me to slow it down a little bit, just let me know. If you found this video helpful, please click like. It helps us out a lot. Consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell if you like content like this and wanna see more of it. Take care, guys.